Hey, so, uh, you know, welcome everybody. So glad you could, uh, you know, all join us here for this master class that uh, we're going to do on stadium projects today. Uh, before we get started, uh, how's, how, how's the picture? Am I, um, am I framed correctly, you know? Yeah, you're good, Chad. Because uh, I feel like the last video uh, wasn't too flattering, you know, just uh, couldn't even see my head. Uh, am I, am I good? Good? Yeah. Chris, we're good? Yeah, you're good, Jed. Okay, all right. Well, great. And then uh, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's get into this thing. One of our, uh, one of our international partners, uh, a news source over in Wales, uh, wrote in with a question for me. I'd, I'd like to uh, point out at, uh, at this time that, uh, you know, people gave me a lot of shit for the uh, games in England, but uh, I'm cashing in on all these international fans. So who's laughing now, bitches? <laughs> really what you want to do is, is uh, pick a stadium with uh, a nice, rich history. Then you want to ignore that history and demolish it. Simply move on. Wipe the slate clean. Why try to live up to all that pressure of all those winning organizations? Just erase them. And then there's lower expectations. Now you're in a building where you haven't accomplished anything. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's good for lower expectations. Which is key. Very key. So, you know, the, uh, the first step to successfully build a, a, a wildly popular stadium is to uh, win over the hearts of the fan base. That's the path that I decided to take early on in my career. Really, you know, really focused on winning the hearts of the uh, fan base. Pretty sure, pretty sure I accomplished that. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that uh, I did a good job with that one. Then, um, you know, next step would be to uh, never give up in negotiations. Never give up. Uh, unless someone tells you no, and then, um, and then, and then eh, it's time to give up. Time to maybe, uh, maybe pack your bags, head to Santa Clara. It's, uh, you know, that's what I had to do. A quick tip, a money-saving tip, by the way, is to, uh, you know, only do one stadium design. You may be tempted to uh, redesign a stadium, you know, if, say, you moved locations from, uh, I don't know, like Candlestick Point to Santa Clara, where maybe 10 to 15 degrees hotter, you'd be tempted to redesign that stadium. But that's where you'd be wrong. Uh, instead, uh, I choose to uh, line my pockets with that money. <laughs> so that's uh, it's a pro tip, uh, sort of next level of, of trolling your fan base. Uh, and then when you find out that, uh, you know, people in a certain section of the stadium are, uh, are literally cooking in the stands, uh, then you can, then you can discount the price of water. Now, you know, not down to cost, you're still going to make a, a tidy profit on it, but, uh, you sell a lot more of them. It's really great. Really great. Yeah. Typically when, uh, you know, designing a, a, a stadium, you want to make it as bland as possible. You want to sort of give it an unfinished skyscraper look. That's uh, that was my inspiration when I asked them to design this. Uh, you know what, what could feel cold and corporate? Because uh, that's really you know that's what we're going for here. Uh, why do we want enthusiasm and things of that nature? No, let's get down to brass tacks here. Let's make it all about the bottom line. Maximize profit. That's what I always say. Another pro tip is to, uh, you know, have these fans uh, support the building of the stadium. Convince them that there is a, a brick by brick mentality going on here, and uh, then you can sell some bricks. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You can literally charge almost $1,000 for a brick. For a brick. It's priceless. Well, actually, there's a pretty staunch price tag on it. But, you know, that's, that's the key. 
You got to bring in those fan dollars. Got to maximize it. Seat licenses. Big lower bowl. Maximize those fan dollars. And, you know, lastly, uh, parking. Should you provide parking to fans at a reasonable location? My answer is no. Why should you? You know, just put a few sporadic parking lots here, there, a mile or two from the stadium, and allow for the fact that because there's no public transportation here, that, uh, you know, you know, fans will just sort of have to look out for themselves. Because, you know, that's, uh, that's not really my problem. So in closing, you know, as long as you kick off the inaugural season with some really strong games and, uh, you know, and make sure that you're able to, uh, to beat your rivals for the first time on, on your home turf, uh, that's really the, the best way to go about kicking off any flagship operation in my book. Yeah, so, you know, in, uh, in conclusion, I uh, really just want to say that, uh, you know, uh, be sure to tune in again next week when I uh, put out my, you know, uh, master class on uh, how to use Twitter successfully to troll your fan base. Till next time. Alrighty.